Okay, we, we see you. So welcome here. We, we thought we had uh, lost you for tonight. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't hear anything. Sorry, yeah, uh, I was a delay a lot. Uh, no, it's uh, it's just that we called you a couple of times, and uh, uh, I was uh, trying to to tell something to the people uh, in your place, but I I'm not <laughs> the good person to do it. So uh, I will ask you some questions so that uh, the people here can uh, uh, also, if they want, then ask theirs, and. Uh, I will uh, start with uh, the classical question. <laughs> I was saying them uh, that it, this is your first feature film, uh, and uh, you started uh, to write it uh, um, on yourself, and then you contacted uh, uh, Ftimius uh, Filippo. Uh, is it correct? Yeah, and the true story is that uh, the. The first idea came from a friend of mine, uh, Yorgos Yokas. He sent me a story about the man that lived in his car. Uh, it was a novel. Uh, and I said to my friend, oh, this is a nice idea for a script. So we start writing together with Yorgos. And after we finished, uh, I give to Ephemis just to take his, uh, tell me something about the script, uh, to if he like it or not. Because he's a friend of mine. And suddenly, after 20 days, after Finis read the script, he sent me another story, uh, uh, but with the same character. And then we start writing with Finis, and uh, we finish with uh, the final script. Okay, so you, you wrote it together. And may I also ask you uh, whether the novel, was it inspired uh, in a true story, or was it complete, uh, completely? No, no, it was, it was fiction. It never published. It, 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 it wasn't a novel that get published. It, it never mm -hmm. became. Okay. It, okay. it was uh, some notes from a, from a friend of mine. Ok, ok. Allora, eh, ha detto appunto che eh, l'ispirazione gli è venuta dalla novella di un amico che appunto gli era fatta leggere, una novella non pubblicata, eh, che parlava appunto di un autista, di un uomo che vive tutto il tempo dentro la sua macchina. An, a, a questo punto ha sviluppato una prima sceneggiatura e poi l'ha fatta leggere a Eftimius Filippo, che è un suo amico e che è molto conosciuto anche per essere eh, lo sceneggiatore dei film di Lantimos. E, eh, lui gli ha rimandato una sceneggiatura diversa con una riscrittura della storia e a quel punto si sono messi a scriverla insieme, a lavorarci insieme. Um, ok, and uh, uh, what, were, what was your uh, main idea, your and uh, Eftimus Filippo's idea about this uh, strange, what could we say, abstract uh, story, as you maybe said uh, some uh, time? Can, uh, we start writing with the Ephemis uh, and uh, we say to each other that we're going to do a story about uh, human na naivety and how people, what people do to get, uh, to belong somewhere. Uh, mm -hmm. We have the script, but you, to tell the truth, uh, as we start shooting, the script uh, changed every day. Uh, Finis was near the... We improvised, uh, and with the actors, and with the script. Uh, uh, every day after we finished the, the shooting, uh, we have a meeting with the Finis, and we change the, the other the, the other day scenes, we write it again. It was a floating, uh, a floating thing that happens through the shooting. All the movie, it was an, a huge improvise on the shooting. We have the main idea, but uh, everything changed every day in the shooting. It was an experiment in a way. Okay. Um... Ah, dopo che hanno finito la sceneggiatura hanno cominciato a girare, in realtà hanno continuato a riscrivere la sceneggiatura continuamente, giorno per giorno, eh, man mano che giravano ogni volta c'era anche molta improvvisazione e quindi eh, appunto la storia continuava a essere riscritta fino alla fine delle riprese. Ok?
And uh, um, could we say that this, ah, se c'è qualche domanda da parte vostra interrompetemi, alzate la mano che vi porto il microfono, non siate timidi e dite pure. Um, so my, my next question is, uh, uh, could we say that uh, um, the, the, the movie is uh, divided into like chapters? Yeah. Uh, and could we, uh, I think it, it could be easy to give a name to each chapter, there are... They, uh, I could give you the name now, it's car, motorbikes and ships, there are okay. three, <laughs> three chapters in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and may, maybe also a smaller paragraph like family, friend, uh, Beth, uh, or something like that. Uh, I mean, it's. Uh, uh, I think. Yeah. I, I, I think it has everything that lives have uh, the movie friends, family, dreams, uh, what people do to move on, to try things. Uh, there's jobs involved. Yeah. Uh, I think it has everything that lives uh, have as a mix, in a way. Uh, I, I like to think uh, that tell is uh, somehow, uh, after we finish the editing, uh, we feel like we make a poem. Uh, I, 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 want to, I want the audience to feel that, but uh, to feel the movie, not understand a, a, everything, but to feel it, and to experience uh, the, the feelings that the main character have. Uh, it, have it has a structure, but it's very floating and very dreamy in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's the movie that I love the best because it was my first one. And we have completely freedom to do it, uh, to improvise, to experiment, uh, to do things that we didn't do in a, in a very well done script in a way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sì, eh, dicevamo appunto che il film è come se fosse, fosse diviso in capitoli e poi eh, all'interno di questi capitoli ci sono come delle, di, tante diverse scene che sono poi un po' le scene della vita di una persona, quindi eh, il lavoro, eh, farsi largo nella vita, tutta una serie di, di situazioni diciamo, eh, però la struttura in realtà è molto fluida e quello che lui voleva alla fine era che si sentisse... Non necessariamente che si capisse tutto, cioè lo, lo spettatore non è invitato a capire ogni cosa, ma soprattutto a percepire ehm, l'esperienza appunto, di, di, a sentire e immedesimarsi nell'esperienza del, del protagonista. E, è come un poema, è, è, è la, la sua è, è, desiderio appunto che venga percepito questo aspetto come di un poema, è, di una narrazione molto libera è, che lui fra l'altro ha amato molto perché è stato il suo primo film e, e aveva appunto questa è, struttura molto libera. Um, yeah, vediamo se... Yeah. Did the viewers laugh? Sorry? Did the audience laugh? Did the audience laugh? Uh, laugh? There, there was a lady before commenting that she didn't laugh. Oh, I'm asking yeah. to, to the rest of the people here. C'è qualcuno di voi che ha riso? Sì? Ok, there are some people say they laughed, mm. but uh, I, I want to ask the lady that, that, that told she didn't. Hai detto che non hai riso, giusto? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Certo, certo, certo. Certo, certo, certo. Sì, sì, sì. Ok. <laughs> Uh, she's saying that she didn't laugh because uh, uh, she found the movie very hyper-realistic 
particularly in this moment in Italy, uh, she she said uh, you you made the movie in a moment in which uh, uh, in Greece there was a, a very big crisis. Now we all perceive a crisis, and so watching the movie, we really feel that uh, kind of isolation and uh, that kind of atmos problematic atmosphere. So. Uh, uh, it's like saying there is nothing to laugh in this moment, and uh, and then she also <laughs> and she also said that. Sorry, yeah, I didn't. Sorry. Yes, I I didn't hear you. No, no, no. Continue. Continue. Yeah. Yeah. No. And the other thing is that uh, uh, we are all um, uh, mm, in, on the side of the bear in this moment, because there is a bear now in Italy that uh, tried to escape and uh, could escape for the third time. So the bear in this moment is also sort of a symbol of freedom. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay these are the great things about movies. Everyone understands what they want, what yeah. they feel at the moment of the movie. This is a great thing. L is an open uh, is an open field for the viewer. Everyone understand what they want, what they want, uh, and I think, I think this is the great the great thing that could happen in uh, in art. So we do something, we have something in our minds, we finish them, and then we spare it to the people, we share it to the people, and everyone understand different things. This is a great thing. Yeah, uh, dice che mm, è un film aperto. È un film che cerca di eh, rimanere aperto appunto per lo spettatore, di modo che ciascuno spettatore possa in realtà viverlo come vuole e trarne le sue conclusioni, sentirlo e dare la sua interpretazione. Quindi eh, beh, questo è molto chiaro, no? è un film che non ha assolutamente un, uh, uh, una linearità che costringe lo spettatore in un senso solo, ma appunto è molto estremamente aperto. Ci sono delle domande da parte vostra? Qualche commento, qualche curiosità? Um, so there are, the audience is, are, are silent, but uh, I think it's normal after, after yeah, a, a movie that is so unconventional and you, you, you need uh, some time to, to reflect, to, to feel, to understand what you have uh, 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 inside after, after the screening. Um, and um, so, uh, it's, it's very silly to ask this question, but uh, uh, do you have some uh, inspiration in cinema in uh, other directors or, or not? Or... Uh, uh, of course, we all have uh, influence uh, subconsciously uh, because we watch a lot of movies, uh, we read books, we hear music. music. Uh, I think L uh, has to do a lot with Beckett in a way. Mm -hmm. Uh, and somehow with Roy Anderson, in a way, uh -huh. too, I think. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Uh, Beckett is one of my favorite writers. Uh, uh -huh. And I think these men, uh, they are deep inside in, uh, in L, in a way. Mm -hmm. Beckett, eh, sì. in... Beckett in particolare si sì, dice appunto che le sue fonti di ispirazione magari inconsce sono probabilmente Beckett che è il suo scrittore preferito e fra i registi forse Roy Anderson che forse ricorderete per il film del piccione che vinse Venezia che era fatto di quadri estremamente belli e statici e sta per uscire anche fra l'altro il nuovo film di Roy Anderson che speriamo di riuscire a fare abbastanza presto. Ehm, nessuna domanda, nessuna curiosità? Come? Eh, scusa mi avvicino perché non ti sento. Sì, certo. 
tu hai la sensazione che ci sia molto questo livello di sogno. Um, another girl is saying that she perceives a, a sensation of dream all over the movie and so she feels a, a, a something in common with Buñuel. Oh, it's an honor. It's an honor for me to hear that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like a dream, I think, yes. Uh, some people can get it that way. Uh, I like Buñuel a lot. Uh, I grew up watching his movies, uh, the surrealistic part of him. Uh, yes, in a way, maybe the, the mood is a little bit Bunuelish, uh, let's call it. Uh, it's nice that the, the girl feels it like a dream. Uh, it's very, it's an honor for me to hear that. Uh, because movies, is, is, it's a dream in a way, if it's realistic or if it's surreal. It's a dream of the people that do it. So uh, it's an honor for me to hear that. Yeah. Uh, dice è un onore per lui sentire questo, essere paragonato a Buñuel. Dice sì, forse un po' qual qualche atmosfera alla Buñuel c'è. È un autore che lui ha molto amato e gli fa anche molto piacere che tu abbia percepito questo tipo, insomma, di, di abbia avuto questo tipo di percezione. And I will add my personal uh, uh, comparison with another director that I uh, felt uh, close in some moments. It's always a very stupid uh, game <laughs> to do this, but uh, uh, it can give uh, uh, inspiration, <laughs> I think. Uh, the author is Chiarostami. Uh, Chiarostami, yes. Well, oh, oh. Or, or another, another great man, yes, yes. And he, okay. uh, because he do a lot, a lot of movies in cars, maybe. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Very, yeah, yeah. yeah in cars uh, with uh, this uh, claustrophobic uh, uh, position of the character and, uh, and also some dark humor that is very present in your movie. Uh, more in your movie, maybe, than in Kerostami's, but uh, also in... Uh, Uh, some of his movies are, uh, I think, uh, very different, but uh, <laughs> there is something in common. So, uh, uh, of Cherry is a great movie. Yeah, yeah. The Close Up, it was the other one. The Close Up movie. Yeah, it's a great director, of course. So, yeah. Um, to tell you something, uh, when we travel uh, years ago with Ellen um, in festivals all over the world, Uh, in a few Q&A's, they asked me what drugs did I take to make the movie. It was a, a very common uh, question. <laughs> Avete capito tutti, penso. <laughs> um, so, um, I, I, I always uh, um, uh, listen to people that say, oh, there is new, this new uh, wave, no, now not so new, Yeah, new Greek wave. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, do you feel you are inside this wave? Uh, you are apart from it? Uh, what do you think? Uh, to tell you the truth, uh, the great wide wave, it was made by a journalist, a uh, Guardian journalist, I think. I think it's it, it, what journalists say to... Uh, now in Greek, in the past uh, 15 years, there is a lot of movies going on. A lot of people shooting movies. There's so many different kind of movies, from commercial comedies to biographical movies to social to social movies to fantasy to film noir movies uh, to the wide movies, as they call it. Uh, I don't think I belong somewhere. Somewhere, uh, maybe because we are a couple of friends that we do the movie together. Uh, the crews and the, the, uh, the writers and the DOPs that are common in some uh, some movies. Maybe this give a, a how can I call it? This give this give the the, the, the label that, that follows the movie uh, because when you have the same people working in different project, uh, they leave the mark on it. So okay. maybe that's very common things. 
Sì, eh, sì dice appunto quella di questa nuova strana onda greca è un'etichetta che è stata data dai giornalisti, in particolare del Guardian. Eh, in Grecia negli ultimi anni sono stati fatti tantissimi film di tipi assolutamente diversi. L'unico fatto che potrebbe farlo accomunare ad altri registi, ad altri film, i suoi film ad altri film, è eh, che sono amici e eh, per esempio appunto lui e l'Antimos eh, hanno in comune eh, altri amici con i quali lavorano nello stesso, cioè eh, parte del team è in comune e quindi questo può alla fine portare a, a, a qualche affinità, quindi a lasciare una, un, a far sì che poi questa etichetta possa essere spesa in maniera più facile. Vi è venuta nel frattempo per caso qualche domanda, qualche curiosità? Io insisto sempre, sperando di spezzare la vostra timidezza. Ok. Uh -huh. um, uh, she's asking whether uh, the actor in the main role Uh, that she liked a lot, uh, whether she, uh, he is uh, uh, famous in Greece, uh, uh, he has uh, already played in, uh, in other movies. Uh, Aris is a, is a famous actor in Greece, uh, in a way, uh, not commercial actor, he do a lot of theatre, very strange theatre parts, uh, he play in a lot of movies, uh, but, but it's not in a way a star. Uh, it doesn't do TV or commercial movies. He's uh, do theater, dance part a lot. He works a lot with Papa Ioannou, if you know him, a great uh, um, Greek choreographer. Uh, he, have, he has a very unique style of, uh, of talking and of thinking, to tell you the truth. And uh, he, he has perfect relationship, relationship with his body. Uh, he's a physical actor, actor in a way. Uh, he's very clever. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, we become friends after L. He played a big part in my first, in my latest movie, the, the Birthday, the documentary. He played a big part on on that movie. Uh -huh. uh, he's a great man. To tell you okay. the truth. Very kind, and gentle, and uh, and beautiful. <laughs> Ok, lui ne ha molta stima, è diventato un suo amico, un grande amico dopo aver fatto El e sta lavorando anche nel, ha lavorato nel suo ultimo film che è un documentario. E, eh, a suo modo è famoso in Grecia eh, ma non commercialmente, non è una star, ha lavorato soprattutto per eh, il teatro e per film del senso, ma film di qualità, quindi ha una sua bravura eh, in, in questo tipo di, di lavori e soprattutto un attore molto fisico che si esprime molto attraverso il corpo ed è pure molto bello. Quando iniziamo a scrivere in un film, al terzo giorno, che ricordo, il terzo giorno di filmare, era la Uh, Ari is singing in the board. Uh, we have another 27 days of shooting, and at the third day we do the final scene. And ah. after uh, we do three takes of the song, uh, Ari came, came to me to my ear and said to me, Babis, what the fuck is going on? What is the movie about? What are we doing? <laughs> uh, I said to him, I said to him, you have a problem? He said to me, No, let's do a trippy movie. I'm with you. Uh, let's do whatever you want, I'm, I'm open, don't be afraid. Ok, allora al terzo giorno di riprese eh, stavano girando l'ultima scena, quella in cui canta e dopo aver appunto girato la scena qualche volta è andato da lui e gli ha detto nell'orecchio ma di che cosa parla il film? <ride> e a quel punto lui gli ha chiesto se aveva dei problemi <ride> e gli ha risposto che assolutamente no perché era il suo film ed era aperto a quello che, che fosse, a quello che fosse, a quello che dovesse essere. So this is your way to work with actors, you don't yes. tell them uh, what they are going to... Okay, this is interesting.
Uh, Aris, I remember when read the script, I just tell him the story as we're drinking the coffee. He said to me, I don't want to read the script and let's do it, let's improvise. And uh, there was sometimes in the shooting that uh, the script changed at the set a lot. So we give, I, uh, we give Aris a pure page of dialogue five minutes before we're shooting. And he said, to, he said to us, what are you doing? What's going on here? Uh, we, we say to him, okay, read it, learn it. He go to the corner, in five minutes he know all the words uh, without reading them, and he came to the camera. It was a way to keep the actors alert. Uh, the, if you keep the actors, there is a there is approach of, of filmmaking sometimes that you don't leave the actor to know everything. Uh, you give him surprise. So at the shooting, when, when they are in front of the camera, there is a little bit stress, and uh, that that gives him a, a very a very strange and different uh, acting uh, that I like a lot. It's a method that I that I use, uh, and in L we do it uh, every day. The actors they are freak out, but they are with us. They like what they do, what we do, what we're doing. Eh, lui usa appunto questo metodo molto particolare per cui gli ha dato da leggere per esempio al protagonista questo, eh, lo script all'inizio e, e poi dopo però hanno continuato a cambiare appunto in corso d'opera tutto quanto e eh, 5 minuti prima, 10 minuti prima di girare una scena arrivavano con eh, del, tutta una serie di nuove battute abbastanza lunghe eh, da imparare e lui le ha subito eh, imparate in un attimo eh, e mh, questo modo diciamo di eh, assalire quasi l'attore così all'ultimo momento crea quella eh, situazione un po' più di sorpresa, di stress per l'attore che eh, è quello che, che lui voleva eh, evidentemente eh, che si sentisse poi anche nell'interpretazione. Nell uh, did you ask him uh, to, uh, to, to act like... Uh, like reading like without a tone or something like that yes 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 it was the first thing at all we don't we don't have to give a lot of feelings just say the words and uh, and he do it because he knows how to do this thing he's he's this is the way he acts a lot uh, he knows about that and uh, he do it very well and imagine if you take the page five minutes before the shooting the only the only way you can act is to to do a rehearsal okay. and, yeah. and say the lines. And after two takes, we have it and we, we move on. Uh, okay. Sì, e dice, gli ho chiesto appunto se gli ha chiesto apposta di, di recitare senza tono e ha risposto di sì, eh, gli ha chiesto appunto di, reci di, di recitare senza alcuna intonazione eh, che però per lui ha una maniera di recitare che conosce, che, che, che pratica e d'altra parte se eh, impari il testo un attimo prima non hai nemmeno il tempo di elaborare l'intonazione quindi sei anche favorito in quello e poi facevano giusto un paio di di come si dice di takes di, di, di Chuck e poi andavano avanti senza ripeterle molto. The other thing that Aris do, was doing in the shooting it was that at the first day we start with the car chapter let's call it at the first moment he came to the shooting he gets in the car and he never gets out of the car until the end of the shooting every day and when we have the bike chapter he always on his bike the bike is him that you uh -huh. see is his bike. He's always standing the bike up at the first minute of the shooting until the end, every day, in the car and on, on the bike. He always on wheels in a way. Penso che abbiate capito tutti, comunque sia con la macchina che con la moto, è di, è fatto tutt'uno, insomma, per tutta la durata delle riprese, è stato eh, in macchina quando doveva essere in macchina dall'inizio alla fine, sulla moto era tutt'uno con la moto. Um, I, I want to ask you something else, I now I have uh, forgot. Um, no problem. Uh, about the final. The final is really very 
surprising and open. And uh, I, I felt there are like two finals because I, I thought that when he uh, starts uh, walking as a bear, I, I thought it was a finish in the movie. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't expect the scene of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, oh, he, he is joining uh, nature. Yeah, and at yeah. the same time, he is uh, accepting death, the death. And so I, I was already uh, ready to, 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 to say, okay, it's finished. And then the, the new scene arrived that is also uh, very, very strong. And, uh, but... Uh, more difficult to understand for me, maybe. It's more subtle, full of uh, meanings. Uh, I think the end is very open to the viewer. And oh, the, the main hero tried to belong somewhere. Uh, yeah. He's in the car, like a family man. Then he wants to be a, a in rebel, a in a way, you know. The yeah. symbol of a motorcycle is freedom. Uh, uh, in uh, uh, not just in a serious way, okay. Uh, and he then became a motorbiker, and then he, in his dream, he dream of belonging in some bear community. And uh, at the end, nothing, nothing, nothing can stop him. He doesn't like anything, so he try another vehicle in a way, another, uh, another community, another vehicle, uh, yeah. the boat. So maybe. He leaves the port, and now he's living in the sea, or the sea doesn't move from there at all. Yeah. Uh, so it's open to the viewer. Uh, he's not a very, I think he's a stupid human being. He, he's not, he's very naive in a way, and he draw and he experimental to find thing, find parts or things to belong, as we all do in our lives in a way. We try to belong someone, to be someone, to have friends, to have a community, and, and at the end, uh, uh, for me, is that uh, the meaning is that poor human being, whatever you, can, whatever you can do, whatever you do, you're still alone, and you always be alone. Uh, it's very pessimistic, <laughs> but uh, for me, this is the end of the movie, but it's very open to everyone. Yeah, it seems like a never-ending story. Never-ending story, yeah, of course. Sì, dicevo appunto che per me eh, il film poteva finire già con eh, lui che cammina facendo l'orso perché in qualche modo si ricongiunge alla natura e accetta forse la morte dell'amico e, e invece poi sono stata sorpresa dal finale con la barca e lui diceva lui è, è, questo è un uomo comune un po' naif, un po' stupido che è sempre in cerca di qualche cosa non è mai soddisfatto di quello che, che riesce a ottenere quindi continua a cambiare c'è la famiglia poi c'è il gruppo dei motociclisti poi c'è questa specie di comunità di orsi e alla fine c'è questo nuovo veicolo che è la barca eh, e, in, e, e forse dopo ci sarà qualcos'altro forse dopo si tufferà in mare e nuoterà o farà ancora qualcos'altro è questa sorta di storia senza fine di, di una persona che è spinta a continuare a cercare il suo posto nel mondo in maniere sempre diverse. Maybe yeah. the sequel of Elizar is on the boat and then he go to a submarine maybe. <laughs> Qui forse il sottomarino sarà la prossima carta. <laughs> Okay, Babis, uh, thank you very much for your time, for your explanations and, uh, and uh, all, all the things that, that you told us. Uh, it was very interesting and uh, also your movie was very interesting. Finally, it, uh, it uh, landed uh, here in Italy. Yes. <laughs> And so, and so you, you, you are doing or you have finished a documentary? Uh, I, I already finished a documentary uh, half a year ago. Uh, now I prepare another one, a documentary, and I'm writing a script right now for a feature film. Uh -huh. uh, in September I'm going to shoot another documentary. 
Uh, and then in a parallel way, I'm going to finish the writing of the new feature film. Feature film. So you're full of work. Yes, yes, yes. We <laughs> lose, I lose uh, time and space. That's why I like what I'm doing. I don't know what day it is, what month it is, what happens near me. Uh, thank you for having me. Thank you for having Elle. It's my favorite and lovely movie. Uh, <laughs> thank you, the viewers, that will be there. Uh, sorry for the delay. Uh, don't the worry. Side call. Uh, so maybe we meet face to face in, in another movie when the condition uh, of the world is Yeah, better. yeah. We really hope so. <laughs> okay. We Have invite you to come here as soon as possible. Uh, I, I would love to. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Very no, much. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Arrivederci. Arrivederci.